on my way to Todd's uh, at Preston to pick up the motorhome. Uh, it's had its uh, engine service, vehicle service, habitation service and one call at Late. place the trim under the door. It's going to be an expensive morning. No, this is Lostock Hall where Todd's are. In half a mile, turn left, then you will reach your destination. Campbells are just here as well. That's where Glyn picked up his caravan from. Now we're just here on the left. Coot Lane. Boot sale, then we'll go inside. You can see here, it's not sealed along there, and it's not sealed under there. It's run sealant all along here but that doesn't match There's no sealant there i think what he's done is he's just put it around the door ouch yeah habitation and service and gas check engine service and mot Right, got the van back on the drive and uh, just need to get everything in it now. So get the stuff out of the garage upstairs and the other bedroom and get it all packed up, ready for going away. Well, if the weather actually improves, we might uh, just go away for a little day out. I think that might be good. Uh, about the repair, I was a little bit uh, uncertain about the repair that they'd done on the, the the trim at the bottom but now I can understand what what they've done is I think they would have had to have removed the whole door and possibly replaced the whole door as best I can understand it uh, if uh, they were going to put this trim back exactly as it was previously because it it goes under the uh, the trim around the door and the only way they can get that trim off is by cutting it and then taking it off the door and I think that involves getting a new door frame at least if nothing else and I, I know from watching a few other youtubers who've had problems with doors how long these parts take to arrive so in one way I'm glad they didn't do that what he has done is he's sort of uh, sealed it around um, around the frame rather than it being tucked underneath it looks perfectly good but there is an awful lot of sealant about he's also sealed along the the side panel because probably because it, it wouldn't look the same as the, the rest of the sealant so he's used sealant where I didn't have sealant before and there's one or two places where I could do a little bit of sealant I think I could do that myself I, I honestly can put a little bit of sealant in in those areas so no big deal just really want to get on and, and get using the van again it's such a pain when it's away and you miss it so much uh, anyway and the 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 bill was 718 pounds for the habitation and the vehicle service now the reason it was so much was that the vehicle was due a 40,000 mile service which is one of one of the big ones as I understand stand so it was the usual oil and filter and all that and check the check the various things and but they've also changed the brake pads the brake pads are needed changing we've done what's it 39,000 39,200 miles so yeah if you've got a motor and you've had it that long and you've driven as far as we have and we've been towing a little car as well I suppose it's not bad 40,000 miles it's just one of those things that you have to replace 
the other thing, the other expense that's coming, of course, is the tyres. I'm going to have to uh, replace the back tyres because they got an advisory on the MOT, which obviously it passed with an advisory. Uh, they're, they're okay, they're legal. They're not, you know, if you've got the little wear indicator, it's not got down that far, but I think in the next few miles I would have to change it. So I've booked it in through Black Circles and um, I've got a better price, I think, on the other tyres there. They, I think the uh, Todd's wanted, or rather one call, we're going to do it, wanted 100 and, 150 and plus VAT plus fitting. I think I'm paying 163 including VAT and fitting. So I think that's slightly cheaper. So I'm going to get that done on Thursday at the Southport MOT Centre. So they're going to do the tyres. They did the tyres before. Funnily enough, the uh, last pair lasted about 20,000 20, miles. The front ones last about 20,000 miles if I leave them on the front. But the ones on the back were on the front. And uh, obviously they wore down fairly quickly. And I, I swapped them over just before we went to the Europe on the Europe trip. So they've done, they've done all right. Habitation service picked up that one of the battery terminals on, on the battery was, was loose. Uh, so I might have only been running on one battery and I didn't, didn't know it. So I, I noticed when I switched on the, uh, the electricity, the, uh, it was, went straight into charge mode on the, on the leisure batteries. So I suspect one of them may not have been charging properly, which is, you know, one thing you, you know, you get people to check for you yeah so like I say please have the van back oh and they did the the damp check uh, I was a little bit uncertain last year whether they actually did a damp check because they didn't didn't uh, Marquis used to give you a little report that had you know 15% here 10% there and whatever it was but uh, I asked at Todd's and he said they do do a damp test and they don't give you the bit of paper he says because it, it off it only worries people when they see sort of readings that they think are high and they don't know what readings are high so um, as long as it's okay they, they say it's passed the damp test what they do do is that they put it on the swift database so as long as you've had the damp tests done on the van then and it's on the database you've still got your your body shell warranty so it's nice to know it's not leaking it's still in one piece and in pretty good condition so quite pleased right so that that's about it unless my brain can think of anything else is there anything else up there no i don't think so all right so give us a thumbs up if you like it remember to subscribe hit that notifications icon if you want regular updates of new videos that uh, we do we'll catch up with you soon